celebrated graduation, but I'm still a freshman. Learn to do right. I never write with my left hand. Respect, man. Music to my ears like Def Jam. My class is like Nike, cause they give me a check, man. Up at 8 o'clock, right? I'm trying to get it. No co-signer, cause I'm signing May Pimpin'. Out here on a mission, moving with precision. 401k, I'm trying to make back tuition. In a couple years, I'm who they talk about. Study at the table every night, like Camelot. If everybody winning, this is tie. No, not please. This the green white ladies think I'm really hot. Got me down, got me flying in the white dub. Married to dedication, Charlie, I've been wiped up. Push them haters to the back, tight, right up. I am the hustle, and this the thing in the life of. Hello and welcome to A Day in the Life of, a collegiate reality-based television show that follows the typical day in the life of an exceptional student or faculty member here at Bethune-Cookman University. I'm, I'm your host, Cecilia Taylor. Today's guest is a junior at BCU, Mr. Donald Watts, or who some may know as Snoopy. As a mass communication student, he's involved in BCU Campus TV, where he produces his own show, Snoopy TV, and he's a part of the world-renowned Marching Wildcats. My name is Donald Snoopy Watts, and this is the day of my life. Hi, my name is Rose Amazon. I'm a senior nursing major from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and y'all watching BCU Campus TV. Hello everybody, my name is Darrell Wilson from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm a biology major, senior at Great Bethune Cookman University, and you are now watching BCU TV. Hello Wildcats, my name is Kiaje Williams, but you can call me Kiki. I'm a psychology major. Um, my organization that I'm in is Hoceres 2 Championship Dance Team Incorporated, and you are watching BCU Campus TV. Shout out to H A 2 I need a break. Let's see what's going on in Google real quick. Let's look up me. Yeah. What? Including results for sexy beast? Ah! <laughs> 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 
that that guy gets it. This is a day in my life. This is a sample of the page that I type. Cause I take intelligence and mix with innovation. Turn a good grade into a celebration. Have a conversation. Welcome back to A Day in the Life Of. If you're just joining us, thank you for being here. And thank you to today's guest, Donna Watts. How are you doing? I'm fine. That's good. Okay, so did you always know you were coming to college? I didn't always know. You didn't? But eventually I figured out. So when did you realize college was an option for you? Um, when I got serious about academics, which was like my sophomore year in high school. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, and when did you, and that's when you realized you wanted to go, of course. Uh, who inspired you to come to college? Was there anyone who really, like? Um, well, my dad, well, really my entire family, because I was the first, you know, out of my household to reach a university. So that was a big inspiration, as well as, you know, a great deal of responsibility. That's, that's wonderful. So what, what exactly led you to VCU? Does band have anything to do with that? Band has everything to do with it. Because, you know, being a part of the, the pride is like a life goal achievement. So for me, you know, coming from Palm Beach County, it was the main two bands that everyone knew there was FAMU and Bethune. And I've always loved Bethune. So, so of course you made the right choice i mean who would want to go to fam <laughs> right uh what tell me a little bit about your parents how are they um they're good my mother her name is Tant Slowat. she's i'm not gonna say her age but she's <laughs> young um my father donna watt senior mm -hmm. and he's 40 so i can say his age and um i have a younger sibling my sister named brandy brandy mm -hmm. watts she's 16 right now she's at Palm Beach Lakes High School, mm -hmm. um, down in West Palm Beach. So everybody's doing pretty good for the most part. Okay, and you said you're a first generation college student. Uh, did your parents, was it, did they have setbacks that caused them to not go to college? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say setbacks, but you know, as far as their line of work, mm -hmm. they, you know, saw other options that were just as useful as the college experience and chose to take that option. Okay. and. How do they feel about the decisions that you've made so far in your life? Um, well, they're, they're very supportive, you know. Um, at first, you know, when you kind of mention what it is you want to do and it doesn't come off as clearly to them, mm -hmm. then, you know, it's kind of a are you sure type thing. But when they see that you're in full pursuit of whatever it is you want to do, then, you know, they support. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your major here? My major is mass communications. How did your family feel about that? Uh, they feel that it's definitely working for me because it, it, it's a major that allows me to be myself. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, are they involved in your college life at all? Uh, from time to time, you know, I call my mom and dad, you know, just to get life tips mm -hmm. for a progression. And um, yeah, they're just supporting. Okay. We have footage of Donald doing what he does best. Let's take a look. Uh, music, music, just the marching band, you know, as we all know, um, it's the main attraction of not only Bethune Cookman, but Daytona Beach. So as a kid, I've always looked up to, you know, one day I want to be in the pride. I want to be, you know, out there and experiencing that. So that, you know, drove me to work hard to get here. Oh, get My major is mass communications. I, choose, I chose this major 
because I saw it as a great opportunity to just come right in and just get hands on with, you know, chasing, you know, my dreams and just having that vision. So I felt that MassCom was the perfect major for that because, you know, the Department of MassCom, we get so much done daily. So, you know, it definitely would keep me in that, you know, professional mindset. He's right now, he uh, wants to pursue, pursue uh, further uh, uh, career-wise in terms of being a freelance drummer. And um, we're just beginning to kind of study some of those things in terms of some of the things that he's going to need to uh, be able to do in preparation for that. But I do feel in the long run, at the end of the day, once he graduates, he will be prepared to uh, pursue any endeavors. Uh, what drives me as a college student is just staying focused on my future exactly, you know, knowing what it is that I want to do as a professional drummer, you know, working with different artists and just touring and, you know, a lot of recording sessions. And uh, earlier this year, my grandmother passed, like, and she was, like, very dear to me, like, very close. So, you know, that's another thing that drives me now too. Don was a uh, eager uh, student. He's uh, really persistent in terms of trying to learn uh, different techniques and mastering uh, those things as it regards to, relates to the uh, drum set. I was originally a music tech major, but with that major I was focused on music and you know music is my first love, but I felt that uh, joining MassCom I would have a backup plan as well. Hard work is being is important to being successful because um, it's just you know a matter of creating that self drive and looking to achieve things. Um, he's uh, one of those students uh, that you don't really have to push. He's actually a self motivator. You know, the enthusiasticness, the uh, willingness to go out and do research, you know, he goes and he, he listens to different things. Uh, we talk about some of the things he, he does. He, he takes self-evaluation to try to improve himself, and I think those are the kind of things that will result in being a good leader. Man, Dono has been like a new flavor to the group. You know, um, anytime you come play with a new group or if you join in someone else, Either they've been playing for years or been used to something being a certain way. You know, when something comes new, it usually takes a while for it to fit in. But, you know, Donald came right in and, um, you know, and it was, it was warm. It was very warm. It seemed like, you know, finally another addition to the group. When I think about Donald and the music, he's always coming with ideas um, on the piano, maybe the drums. Uh, he's always talking about a new song that he likes or a new idea that he likes, and he always brings it to the table. It's kind of how Clayton started off. When he first started off, he was, a, you know, about a sophomore, he was a drummer. And now he's one of the leaders. So in about a couple years, I could definitely see him as a leader in the combo. I wasn't expecting him to kind of be a leader or anything like that. I was expecting, you know, to play, enjoy myself, have my creativity, throw things in when, I, when needed. But I wasn't expecting to have the position that I have now. But, you know, with him, with his playing and his creativity and his level of passion for the music, um, when bands in the future do come, he'll have the abilities that they will be able to look up to him and seek leadership and seek knowledge through him. You know, as long as, you know, you keep an open mind and, you know, be open to other people's criticism too, even if, because even as a leader, you know, you still got to accept other people telling you when you're wrong or right or whatever the case may be. But, um, yeah, he definitely could be a leader in the group. I'll definitely have to be done, you know, when I leave. The drums will be all his, pretty much, so. This is a day in my life. This is a sample of the page that I type. Cause I take intelligence and mix with innovation. Turn a good grade into a celebration. Have a conversation. Let's go, Wildcat! Want to know what your BCU superstars are doing? It always amazes me how I wind up doing this crap. How they go throughout their day, what goes on behind the scenes of their life? Well, check out a day in the life of. Catch us every Thursday at 3.30, only on BCU Campus TV. Been crazy from school to doing this and all that good stuff, so 
Stay in the light. Hi guys, it's Natasha Trueblood. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. I'm a mass comm major and you're watching BCU Campus TV. What's good everybody? It's your boy OMG is Chesman. And I'm here to talk to you about my new show called What You Think. It's the only show on TV where we want to know exactly what you think. You feel me? We go out on the quad, we go as Forget what he talking about. Watch my new show. Bro, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of a commercial. I'm trying to promote for my TV show. You can't promote for a TV show. I'm promoting for a TV show. What time your show come on? Tuesday at 7.15. My show comes on a Tuesday at 7.15. What's your show called? What you think? I don't know. What's yours? What you think? What? I, I, what, what you, you think? think? I grew up wanting to be a pimp or a baseball player. You have a story? How come number two ain't had me come through? Why is it taking y'all so long to get me to come through? The energy was great. The crowd was amazing. Because our thoughts are concealed and the tats on our skin don't reveal the weight on our chest. Tell me. Did you get you some American Daily when you came to Big Home? Really a fun show, I gotta say. Shout out to BCU. Speak now or never. This is Open Mic TV. But you here now, right? Okay, yeah, you're right. Right. But it's the life of a college student I asked for. Walk across the stage at the end, smile flow. Big smile, big pause, man, believe that. You sitting down in the crowd, you can be that. Back with our guest today on a day in the life of who's a first generation college student in his family. Now, if you had to give incoming freshmen, freshmen any advice uh, about college, what would you tell them? Uh, well, first off, when you get here, you know, just be yourself, work hard, and just remain dedicated to whatever it is that you see yourself doing in the future. Okay. Uh, Academically, what what can you say is your biggest challenge here at BCU? My biggest challenge is now you're saying a specific subject. Um, what's your general. what's your challenge as far as subjects? Uh, I don't know if I should say that on here. I mean, you, you can't, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, well, I'm not the best math person. I'm passing math, but you know, I'm not. That is not my favorite subject. Okay. Very time consuming. So what do you do to overcome that? Um, I try to, you know, take a 15 minute gap between classes to kind of study up on it and, you know, polish the gray areas. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I still don't like <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, math, it tends to be a challenging subject. How's your student teacher relationship? Uh, pretty good. I've develop you know more than one relationship with more than one instructor now so it's um it's pretty good you know it's very beneficial because it gives the teachers the opportunity to see how serious you really are okay and do you communicate with your professors regularly i do uh and particularly mr ori mr pedro ori the percussion instructor he and i became very close this year Mm -hmm. you know based around drums and music and everything so he definitely pours into me daily so would you say that's your favorite professor yeah i would are you sure are you being biased no i'm being honest oh that, that is a okay <laughs> <laughs> let's continue to watch a day in the life of donald Well, before college, I was nearly uh, kicked out of my house for being kind of a bad kid, I guess. Um, yeah, this is around my sophomore year in high school where, you know, I was just pretty wrapped up in peer pressure and things like that. And, um, you know, I started taking some wrong paths, but got serious about my education and was blessed to make it here. 
I think he's matured a little bit. Um, as a freshman, uh, I think, you know, like most freshmen, when they first come to college, um, just trying to adapt to the fast pace of life and, and actually finding himself. So I think that the biggest thing is the maturity. He's more focused. Uh, he knows what he wants to do. And um, I think um, that is the, the biggest thing, just a, a sense of maturity. Well, I've definitely um, enhanced my vocabulary. Uh, the company that I keep, you know, meeting different people from different parts of the world and seeing the similarities that you all share. As far as my major is concerned, I look to have a show, like a TV show, a reality talk show, or something kind of like with the MTV type feel to it. So it's composing, you know, more music. We got a lot of sessions going. Um, Settle on, you know, from just school in general. And then jazz combo, I'd be pretty busy with that. Marching band. And that's pretty much, you know, mostly what I could think of right now. Because we already got, like, the radio interview and all the other stuff for the TV show, Snoopy TV, out of the way. So, just, you know, working with time. And Snoopy TV is also a big concentration. Yeah. Um, Looking to get everyone involved. Worse him on one side, uh, you know, because he, he calls me every 15 minutes, you know, tells, gives me an update in terms of what he's doing. But on the other hand, it's exciting to know that somebody is really concerned about their development and uh, really thinks enough of me to keep me informed in terms of what's going on in his life. So, you know, I, I'm facetious when I say he's worse, but like I say, to have a student that is energetic about what they're doing is the type of students that we really want to work with. So, you know, it drives me to try to give him the best that I have to offer, and hopefully at the end of the day, it'll help him um, achieve the goals that he's trying to achieve. I'm actually going out to um, California at the end of this year to do a solo tone um, video shoot for them. So I'm just like working up towards that. But I didn't fall like, fall like deeply, deeply, you know, in love with it until like my sophomore year of high school when I, cause I didn't know like you could do this and make a living. I got to saw it as something to do at first. But, you know, I definitely appreciate it. It helps me to stay out of trouble. And, you know, it's, it definitely opens doors. God used this for me to open doors. So, I'm definitely grateful and humbled by it as well. But it's the life of a college student I asked for. Walk across the stage and the ends smile flow. Big smile, big hugs, man, believe that. You sitting down in the crowd, you can be that. What's going on, Wildcats? It's your boy, Janero Carter. And I'm Jaquel Phillips. And we're both representing Fami Alpha. Fraternity of America Incorporated. Woo hoo! Hey. And you are now tuned into BCU Campus TV. Turn up. Woo hoo! This is RC Mullins with MillenniumBullets.com. This is LeVar McCoy, AKA Tani, with Gym Life. And we, we are, are the, the Bully, Bully team. team. And you're watching. BCU Campus TV. Let's go, Wildcats! Want to know what your BCU superstars are doing? It always amazes me how I wind up doing this crap. How they go throughout their day, what goes on behind the scenes of their life? Well, check out a day in the life of... Catch us every Thursday at 3.30, only on BCU Campus TV. Been crazy from school to doing this and all that good stuff. So, stay in the light. But it's the life of a college student I asked for. Walk across the stage at the end, smile flow. Big smile, big hugs, man, believe that. You sitting down in the crowd, you can be that. My journey to college was pretty rough. Um, I, I live in a 
a rough neighborhood, so it wasn't expected of me to make it to college. And um, yeah, you know, it's just a blessing to be here. Yeah, they uh, sponsored me my sophomore year in high school. So I've been with them for a bit now. And I'm also looking at, you know, other companies, like other, you know, future, near future opportunities. So I don't want to speak, you know, too soon on it right now. But yeah, these are my endorsers. Shout out to Icky too. Being patient is one of the things I think is gonna, is one of his biggest challenges. And uh, as we talk about uh, different things uh, that he wants to do in the future, uh, just trying to take his time and develop, you know, his skill sets and to develop the things that he needs to do to be successful. The struggles I deal with now is patience, you know, uh, being patient for what I want to do in the future. Um, finances, of course, what most college students deal with, because I hate asking other people for things. and. Um, yeah, those are the main, the main struggles. My goal is, is to become a professional drummer and to, you know, inspire people and to just motivate people, you know, and most importantly, to make God happy. My biggest slogan is to remember that a dream without plans and goals will never become a reality and just to let God lead you, you know, versus you just jumping out and trying to, you know, do things too fast because his timing is always the best timing. Uh, BCU has definitely helped to prepare me by just kind of forcing me to grow up, you know, just thinking a more adult-like mindset, more professional mindset, and the environment, you know, having the new president, it's definitely been a shift in the environment. So, you know, it's, it's just exactly what it's known as, the experience. Yeah, good luck in terms of, you know, what he's looking to do in terms of the future. I think he'll be extremely successful. And again, uh, take your time. You know, don't try to conquer the world in 24 hours. You know, be patient. But at the end of the day, I think he would definitely be uh, one of those people we'll hear about and, and see on the radio and on the television. That constructive criticism is great and that Nothing, nothing's better than criticism. You know, when you're in a group and you're, and you're playing, the best thing is criticism. That only makes you better. I see him in the music building a lot, working after hours and practicing. When I come into practice, sometimes he's here. And um, we always sit down and talk and have some, some good conversations about music and just life in general. Because, you know, a lot of musicians, you know, they don't, they don't connect the life with the music. And, you know, that's one thing that he definitely does. And his love for God, too, will take him far. Because that's something that, you know, when containing any gift, you gotta have some good guidance and good direction spiritually, as well as men um, mentally and naturally too. But um, yeah, Donald will definitely be a good, good drummer, good, good musician, good musician all across the board. Uh, I like to go, you know, scholarship house, get relaxed, take a nice hot shower, just kind of. I stay on the internet, so you know, I, I watch and study other professional drummers that I look up to, some of my main influences. And, you know, set aside from that, just getting, you know, homework done. Academics is definitely a priority. Thank you for being here with us, Donald. Do you have any other comments? Um, just a tip of advice to anyone watching or you know, to incoming freshmen in the future. Just when you get here, just be mindful of why you're here and you know, just make the most of your time. Well, that is great advice. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Day in the Life of. Until next time, BCU, take care.
graduation, but I'm still a fresh man. Learn to do right. I'm not right with my left hand. Man. Respect, man. Music to my ears like Def Jam. My class is like Nike because they give me a check, man. Up at 8 o'clock, right? I'm trying to get it. No co sign because I'm signing May Pimpin'. Out here on a mission, moving with precision. 401k, I'm trying to make back tuition. In a couple years, I'm who they talk about. Study at the table every night like Camelot. If everybody winning, this is tie. No, not please disagree. Why, ladies, think I'm really hot. Copy down, copy flying in the white dub. Married to dedication, Shawty, I've been wiped up. Push them haters to the back, tight right up. I am the hustle and this is the thing in the life of.